North American sports car racing is extremely fortunate that some three decades ago, a New York businessman caught the racing bug bad. And as Rob Dyson's team moved up through the ranks, his approach has remained constant. It's all about family. We started in the amateur level. Um, I was the uh, first uh, pit crew member. Uh, I was responsible for love, nutrition, uh, for foremost, and I was also in charge of packing the car. And um, I had a full-time job. I was teaching full-time elementary school. And we would pack the car and uh, go to all these different tracks. And um, I didn't know that much about auto mechanics, so I went and took auto mechanics one and two at BOCES. And I learned a lot about cars. I, I know more about cars now than I ever want to know. Dyson is one of those rare teams where a huge proportion of the team has been there for ever. You know, a lot, a lot of the team has never worked for another team um, while they've been in motor racing. So they've just grown up with Dyson Racing. Some of them, are, some of the guys have been here 20 plus years, 23 years, and uh, it really is like a whole family growing up together. When Dicing Racing completed its transition to prototypes 21 years ago, that philosophy also applied to the drivers Rob chose as partners in his quest to battle the factories. Nelson Legend is the first place I remember seeing him. And, uh, and I remember he's instantly fast because he always, you know, when he got to the racetrack on the weekend, you'd, you'd look through, down the entry list, so I would, and I'd, I'd see who the competition was. You know, say, oh, well, he's good, he's good, he's no good. And I remember seeing Rob Dyson thinking, well, I don't know, who's he? But, you know, he can't be any good. You never heard of him before. And, uh, and I remember he was really fast. And, and, uh, and from then on, you know, he was always one of the people, my, my dad and Paul Newman and uh, Bill Quigendall and a few other people that were, were always just racing really hard and, uh, and really enjoyable racing. The first time I came over to America, I raced at Riverside, and Robin Price won driving the 962, and I was driving for Bob Aiken. And when I was a schoolboy, I was a great Pedro Rodriguez fan, and the last race he won in a Porsche 917 was at the Ostrite Ring, carrying number 16. And so I turned up in the States, and there's the old number 16 Porsche winning. I went, right, that's the team for me then. With son Chris now at the helm, the friendly enthusiasm of this ultimate independent remains unchanged, and their fierce desire to take on the best with the best continues. You know, the beauty of our team is we've got a lot of continuity, and uh, we've got a culture that's kind of carried us through the years. And it's terrific to carry on the family tradition, not only behind the wheel, but also, you know, running the team. And I, I don't view it as, as, uh, as a pressure-packed situation. I view it as a terrific opportunity. It, it is a very relaxed place to be. I think everybody absolutely enjoys what they're doing. And we're all incredibly fortunate, because you know, if it wasn't for Rob allowing us to do this, you know, our lives would be a lot grayer, to say the very least.